This video is sponsored by Shopify. More on them after the reaction. Citizens of the Reject Nation, we are back for Hasman Hotel episode seven. Tell me, does this cut on my neck from shaving look good? I think I would just rather point it out now before all you people are like, what's that on Greg's neck? It's legitimately tiny. This is a you problem. This is a you problem. Oh, this is called chemistry. Roxy, how are you doing, my friend? I'm doing great, Greg. How are you? I'm doing slamtastic. I'm excited for this. Guys, what did you think about this episode? Leave your thoughts down below. You know the drill. You leave a like on this video. That's the first order of business. Or Afterwards, else. Or else I'm coming to your home and shaving your neck. After that, subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified when our reaction for the finale is up right here on this channel. Thank you to Prepper for helping us set it down these highlights. You guys are killing it. Massive thank you to all who have been making our Patreon a massive success by joining that thing, the Patreon. Go to Super Sexy <laughs> yeah. Rejects. Full length reaction watch along where you sync up with your own copy of Hasman available for them. And we also cover several things over there with highlights and watch alongs included. I like the look. Oh. I like the beanie. Oh, Drew. the beanie. I thought you were I, I thought you were on me again about looking at you while you talk. That's originally what I was saying. And then I was like, do oh I open down God. that rabbit hole? Put a wall here. Build a wall. <laughs> yeah, I'm on team build a wall. That's this channel. <laughs> That's what we're all about. And they're the exact crowd that watches Has Been Hotel. Yeah. That's for sure. <laughs> Nifty, I don't have... Did you ever think maybe she's sensitive about her lack of wings? <laughs> Just like her lack of... Jeez. <sighs> Any other questions? <laughs> How come every time Charlie talks to heaven, we get in deeper and deeper shit? Oh, now it's not the time to turn. But Charlie's trying her best. Her best is turning out real well so far. And where is Miss Fearless Lita anyway? Oh my god, they're all turning on her. I know, this is not good. Isn't it about time for another doom to fail plan? She's upstairs, coming up with something, I'm sure. This is called the Dark Knight of the Soul Arc. Because this is the penultimate, right? Mm-hmm. Aww. Flotsam and Jetsam. Charlie, you look an absolute mess. This is when we find out that he's here with Lilith. Was that any way to Poor act Lilith. after picking a fight with all of heaven and dooming everyone you love? I have enough on my mind without hearing Bruce's sadistic idea of a joke, asshole. Hey, he's the best character. You have a captive audience downstairs waiting to hear what kind of inspiring performance you have planned next. How can I face them after failing them all so hard? They came here to be saved, and all I gave them was more pain. Oh, no, you gave them a community. Pick it back up. Try again. Maybe worse. At least they don't go around giving false hope. I never expected to see such a miserable display of self-loathing from you. Oh, f*** you, Alistair. That's my girl. I don't know how you can enjoy all the suffering so much. That's his kind. Just because you see a smile, don't think you know what's going on underneath. Good life lesson. A smile is a valuable tool, my dear. That's you yes, today. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the person I trust most has been lying to me for years. Heaven refuses to listen. Even if they did, I can't prove the hotel works. I love that shot of Alistair. Exorcist army pointed right at my doorstep, and there's nothing I can do about any of it. You gotta unleash your inner Lucifer. I know something you, you can don't know. Oh. <laughs> Those big scary angels are not quite as indestructible as they seem. Ooh. You and your little band of misfits might stand more of a chance than you think. How? Oh, that's right, because of yeah, that meeting. Yeah, he knows, yeah. Yeah. Remember he sent them to listen and eavesdrop? Yeah. The Eggies. You want my soul? Your soul? No. Oh, I got uncomfortable goosebumps there. I won't hurt anyone for you. Who's asking? One favor at a time of my choosing where you harm no one. You never agree to shit like this. In return, I tell you what I know. Do we have a deal? Deal. Ah, uh, no. What did you do? Let her go. Baggy, stop. What? Charlie, please tell me you didn't. She did. He gave me info that can save the hotel, but we're going to need help. The angels can be defeated, and Carmilla is the key. It's all coming full circle. If she can, we might have a chance. With just the seven of us? We're going to need numbers, too. Get all of hell. Can we talk about this? We can talk later. Right now, we have a job to do. You with us? <sighs> oh, gosh. They need to rub their vaggies together, you know what I mean? Word. 
Word. We have a plan, but it includes defending ourselves against the angels. They can be killed. Yeah, that knife lady, Camaro car fight, killed one. <laughs> <laughs> I told boss about it months ago. He what? What? They say insane shit all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when he even got down? We were like, what? That was months ago, though. Huh. I know this place can work. I'm going to go learn how we can fight back. But when I come home, we'll all understand if none of you are here. Ugh. No, they'll all hey, be here. This is awkward. Okay. <laughs> Cannibal Town. Years, I've been sharing my life with her, and I tell her everything. My hopes. What does Alistair have going on? There's a friend of mine I think you should meet. In Cannibal Town? But it's, it's surprisingly nice here. Yes, ironic. Well, who hasn't thought about eating their first husband? I certainly would have if he didn't taste so bad. <laughs> Rosie's Emporium. Hello, Rosie. Do my eyes deceive me? Alistair? Alistair! <laughs> Those are cutouts. <laughs> Introduce us, why don't you? Ah, yes. Charlie, this is Rosie. Hello, Rosie. Delightful and dangerous overlord this side of the pentagram. Ugh. Charlie Morningstar, daughter of Lucifer and heir to the throne of hell. Oh, owning her soul will come with a lot, but he doesn't own her soul. What is the deal? We need your help. Well, your cannibals' help, at least, to fend off the attack. Why would the cannibals be the best one? Maybe they eat the angel. Your people will be far from helpless when we're done with them. And by the end, they will be able to eat their fill. You was correct. In that case, sure, I like your moxie girl. And old Alistair has never done me wrong before. I mean, yeah, it seems like the people from hell would just be getting a dominant power. I think they would want to overtake over heaven. What favor is Alistair going to ask? Lead a revolution against heaven? It's an amazing season-long arc, what he's done, of me just questioning, questioning. We know an angel fell at your hands, and we need to know how. No. What do you mean, no? The princess of hell means nothing to me. You have to do better than that. Picture in a song. 90 seconds. Why wouldn't you use what you know to fight? To avoid the very problem you and your little friends are facing right now, I will not invite destruction into my house on my people. It feels like it could lead to an extinction. Charlie has ever done is try to make things better, to help her people who newsflash include your people too. And how exactly has that worked out for her? 45 seconds. Is time really passing by this fast? Or you can stand alone tomorrow, and what do you think your chances will be then? You're out of time. What? <laughs> Angels attack quickly, viciously, and without mercy. You'll need to defend better than that. Was this her weird way of agreeing? <laughs> like, trading? Testing? Yeah. But I can't exactly command all of Cannibal Town to follow someone else into battle. They love carnage and bloodshed, but to get this group into line, you gotta win them over. With a song and dance. Do I with sparkle razzmatazz razzmatazz baby this group sticks together so in order to convince any of them you'll need to convince all of them and there's one in particular susan susan <laughs> she's tough but win her over and the rest will be easy Karen. as pie but which one susan we'll know soon i like the mysterious allure of the crowd they're always like looking like silhouettes and cutout figures they do that to alistair a lot too actually when he's Bring in the background Susan. Susan. <laughs> the elderly. Okay, uh, my name's Charlie. Whoa! And <laughs> tomato, tomato, <laughs> tomato. Please don't get a shit out of the fucking hell. Sorry, I eat no big ass. I need your help with more assistance. Get on the stand. Where's the showmanship? Tell her to shut the <laughs> F up. <laughs> 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 I thought that was going to maybe win them over, like, respect. Yeah, so she's testing to see how strong she really is or how much she really wants this. You want me to teach you how to beat angels? That's what I'm doing. By beating the shit out of me? Yes. You know I'm an exorcist? How? You have a giant X over your eye and hmm. wield an angelic spear. It's not rocket science. Wow, she's the only one to put it together. Did you know? Angels Maybe. could be harmed. No. <gasps> that shows in how you fight. You leave yourself open with every swing. Good point. And this is what you'll take advantage of. 
Angels wield no shields, little armor, and fight with reckless abandon. So there's a lot of openings. Here, here, and here. Yeah. Angelic weapons? It's that simple? How has no one else figured this out? Angelic steel isn't common. Those who have it aren't exactly rushing. Oh, no. I tried to buy time for my girls to free and well. You don't become an angelic arms dealer without arming yourself first. Fantastical. Oh yes, Spanish music. Driven by your detestation, your every step is stoked with animus. These are big words. Yeah. <laughs> Motivation. But like every well, outfit no is a sick costume for Halloween. <laughs> Fight in the name of love. Don't die this season, Vaggy. No way. No <laughs> way. Fight without gloves long as you're out for love. love. Fuel yourself with the fear of losing. Use fear as a motivator. Harness your heart and you can't help choosing to fight with all you can get. I can work out to this song. I know you're thirsting for vengeance, Faggy. You're out for blood. Oh, yeah. But you'll only stand a chance if you're out for love. Out for love. What an interesting thing to say as somebody in hell. Yeah. And it goes back to like, who goes to hell and who goes to heaven? Because this woman is all about her kids, saving them, and love. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you just might rise above long as you're out for love. No, oh, embrace who you really are. What do you do when someone you love lies to you about who they are? Romance? You eat them. Yeah, yeah might as well. <laughs> My girlfriend is an exorcist angel. And she never told me. Maybe you shouldn't tell everybody that. You said you love this girl. Yes. Have you ever once doubted that she loves you in return? Well, then what's the problem? I guess they're the real heart of the story. Yes, because they're girlfriend and girlfriend, which we knew from day one. Mm-hmm. Silly hotel of yours all about redemption? Bingo. Perhaps this girl was trying to redeem herself too. She knows better than anyone that I believe in second chances. Why not tell me? I mean, so much of the show is about not judging people at face value. Yeah, but you're allowed to be hurt by something. Maybe. Depends if I'm wrong. Or... She's flawed. Who down here isn't? If there's anything I've learned, it's that words are cheap, but actions, they speak the truth. Yeah. Also, what did she do to get here? She seems lovely too. She's just flawed. Maybe she ate people. Pretty big flaw. Well, how do you normally explain your hotel? By singing, but that never works. Give it a shot. It will work here. We need two numbers per episode. Come on. Have you ever wanted something that was so clear in your mind that you could taste it? Mm -hmm. You mean like human flesh? <laughs> I love Susan. No. <laughs> I need Susan to come back. A billion needy faces. I guess what I mean to say is I might have to be ready for this. Ready to... <laughs> Gotta come into my own. Gotta come into my throne. Brace your leadership. Though I kind of feel unsteady, now I need to be ready for this. Yeah, you have no choice. Lead the charge. Ever felt like you're willing to die to save the people of your city? By no. God, you mean use my teeth to rip flesh apart? <laughs> Right now we need a leader. Destiny has picked me to be that if you'll permit me. So who's with me? This is so Jack Skeleton of her. Join up now if you like travel. Come on, boys. Hop in the saddle. Woo. To see en route to my hotel. Not to mention the camaraderie. Yes, sir. Oh, classic. And feast on all the angels you can eat. Okay. They need motivation. They need motivation. It's time now to act. They're on the attack. When they move to strike, we will fight, fighting back. But what favor is Alistair going to ask her? Something with Lilith? I can't stop thinking about Lilith. Our appetites are wet, and we're set to seize the day. So I say, oh, hey, come join the fresh buffet. Well, that's a little violent. You're making me hungry. <laughs> They just seem a little murdery, right? Now, they need to defend themselves. Don't worry, honey, that's that thing. Keep singing. We're super duper, duper grateful. grateful. So fun. Is she manipulating her? I can be the marshal leading the parade. I can come into my own. And I think I've always known my destiny could never be postponed. <laughs> Good lyric. 
They're singing her song. Yes, they are. Surprised why I knew she could do it all along. She's bound to pass the test. The, what test? Okay. They want her to embrace. For the first time in our lives, we know that we are ready for this. We'll show him in a fight they won't forget. Ah, uh, I see. He wants to be the right hand to the leader of hell to really control, manipulate. Yeah, but what's the favor? Sounds uplifting, but I don't know, man. Is the final episode going to be the fight? I got you a souvenir from Cannibal Town. Oh, Charlie. The wings are new. They look nice. Yeah. All is forgiven. Let's put some effort into these fortifications. Yeah. Fortify that. Look who decided to show up. They stuck by her side. You're still here. Oh, that feeling when people have your back. I just got used to you guys. I ain't finding no new drinking buddies. I've named all the stains <laughs> on the carpet. <laughs> now it's red. Well, looks like we have a lot of work to do. Prepare for battle. Wowza. Oh my god, just one more to go. It's so heartwarming when people show up and have your back when you didn't know if they would. And you've been working on their redemption and everyone shows up for you. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. You gotta look out for yourself, man. Don't trust a soul. Hey, we have a sponsor. Thank you to Shopify for sponsoring, which is what we use for our merch store and is our game-changing partner in e-commerce. You don't need to be tech savvy to understand. It allows individuals and businesses to create and manage online stores, offering tools for sales, payments, marketing, and inventory management. It's worth trying out because of its user-friendly interface, extensive customization options, a comprehensive suite of features that cater to businesses of all sizes. Their checkout system unmatched. It's 36% more effective at converting visitors into buyers than other platforms. And let's not forget Shopify magic, the AI tool that elevates your business with minimal effort. But seriously, reflecting on our journey using Shopify for www.rejectnationshop.com, it's been transformative. The transition, smooth, growth, exponential. Thank you again, Reject Nation. From simplifying sales to scaling our offerings, Shopify has been a cornerstone of our success. And Shopify isn't just for us. It powers 10% of US e-commerce, backing businesses big and small in over 175 countries. Their award-winning support, always there to guide you. So ready to join the revolution? Sign up for Shopify at only a dollar a month at shopify.com slash rejects. All lowercase, shopify.com slash rejects. Start your Shopify success story now. Let's grow together with Shopify team. Hey, by the way, thanks for wearing a shirt. Looks good. It's a good shirt. I like this shirt. Soda. Uh, but I didn't see it. Wow. Way to promote it. I've Still seen her shirt. in another show. It's got the space with the gas. I saw oh, her in a different band. show. I like Ahsoka. We've, we've, I just didn't see we, her show. moved on to my shirt now. <laughs> We're now off of your shirt <laughs> and on to my shirt. And I appreciate everyone from the last week who just bought a bunch. So thank you guys so much. It's an amazing way to support the channel. Thank you guys very much. Love it. Love it. Love to see you wearing them. It's a win-win. All right. Well, we got one more episode to watch. We got to watch that ASAP. We got to watch it ASAP. ASAP Rocky? ASAP Rocky. ASAP Roxy. Mm-hmm. I love that we're doing this right now. What'd you think of the episode? I am really concerned that we are going into the finale right now. Way to start off negative. And that I'm not going to be emotionally okay when this show season one is wrapped. I feel okay, unbelievably that was... invested in this. All right. Yeah. No, it's inv I'm very invested too. You've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? <laughs> I totally am. Yeah. We have. So, I have so many questions, and I know that this is, deserves a season two. So we're only going to get some answers, and it's like I this this show. I'm thinking about it all the time. Uh -huh. I'm thinking about what makes somebody good, what makes somebody bad, the gray, everything. Last episode was no different. It's just like uh, this show's great, and that was a great penultimate episode. Yeah, I mean, it seems like there's more love and forgiveness in hell than there is in heaven by every means. Yeah. But like, there's also, like, more manipulation. There's a lot, it's, it seems like they're about the same. Because it's an end game, you know? Like, if you are on earth and you think you got to heaven and the only reason you were being good was to get to heaven, then you can drop the act. Mm -hmm. But if you were on earth and you were didn't care about it and you went to hell and now you're in hell... Maybe you're just being your truest self. Yeah. So I think we're seeing a lot of that. And you're right. Like when we saw the the person with Vaggie mm -hmm. 
she seems like a really good person. When we go to Cannibal Town, they seemed like good people, even Susan. And Alistair right now, I know he's going to pull the wool over us. Mm -hmm. Is that the expression? Pull the wool over you? I was just uh, saying, yeah, because Pull the wool over my eyes? Pull the wood? Wool? It's definitely not wood. Yeah, you wouldn't pull wood over my eyes. Well, that would be just smashing. Me. Yeah, a, <laughs> don't put the wood on. Smash that wood in my eyes. <laughs> That's <laughs> what she said. <laughs> oh, in hell. Uh, but I'm just saying that I think that there's there's a lot to be discovered in this next episode, and this was a great penultimate to set us up and show us that there are some people here. We're, they're setting us up for heartbreak with Alistair. I can feel it coming. We know Lilith is, Lilith is hanging over us. But I have a prediction. Mm-hmm. Because I haven't rambled enough yet. No, my, my, my prediction <laughs> is because I've let you do all the time. Please, it's okay. Uh, you know how a few episodes ago we saw that glimpse of Lilith, but we didn't see her face. Mm, yeah, I mean, you know her, what I'm talking uh, about. Don't they have like photos of her on the wall? Um, there's that one photo when we go to his place that we see of her and of the of. Uh, oh, I get what you're talking about. talking about the flashback. Yeah, uh, in the memory of the dad. Yeah, I think that they didn't cast her yet and they didn't fully want to show her face and motion of her and her body yet mm. because they're saving it for season two so i'm theorizing that we're not gonna see lilith in this episode in the next episode maybe it'll be a tease yeah like from behind kind of thing but i don't think that i think we would have seen if we were gonna see yeah well as terms of that i i have no idea but in terms of this episode i really think that we could be hit. I think what they're setting up for Charlie is something that could be more compelling and conflicting because this was the one of steering her in the direction of leadership. And so far, we've seen her as like this altruistic human being, not a human being. Well, yeah, angelic being. And, but that's the point. You're just a being. And she's an altruistic being and cares about her people, cares about people in general. And it seems like Alistair's pushing her in the direction to be more of that, you know, stereotyped. Lucifer, you know, conqueror of hell. So he could be the whisperer in her ear. And so I think we can be down a, yes? You did the. Yes. No, I'm saying yes. I agree with you on that. I thought there that. was a, a thing you were going to be like, let me. Well, I, I just because apparently I like cutting you off today, I guess. Uh, I think that you're completely right. And also we know that he's on a leash. Yeah. So it can't just be that. It, that's mm. one layer. Good point. But it's not, it can't be the only layer. Clearly, he wants to be her right hand man. Right. But it's got to be for a greater purpose than just to have power because he's on somebody else's leash. That's very true. Regardless, I think it's a great point. I think it's a great call to to take your main character and you you got to add like inner conflict more, you know. And and I think that sets her up for a season two, depending on how the finale goes, of course. Of it, because it, it, it seems like Lucifer. Ha- there was a portrayal of Lucifer that we have going. Like I'm talking prior to Hasman Hotel, the idea of what you have of what a Lucifer is, and then this show presents to you what a Luc- what their version of Lucifer is, and it's not at all what you think he'll be like. But Lilith is the one who's been kind of shrouded and mysterious and ominous, and maybe she's a little bit more on the darker path. Well, what's the the rule? Do you remember the lore here? They talked about it in the first episode of the of the with the Amazon show, not the pilot, of something with like when Lilith and, and Lucifer fell in love. She's the one who created hell, right? Is that is that what the lore is? I don't. That's why he's king of hell and she's queen of hell, and then Charlie is. Uh, princess right i don't remember if lilith created it i know i watched the show lucifer and lilith was on there and lucifer was doing really well and lilith was the more evil one on that show yeah so i think that when you're pushing charlie into a direction where she can possibly get more in tune because you see her getting pushed to the brink of things like she's it seems like this whole thing with the cannibals uh cannibal society where a lot of people are sort of feigning pleasantries and you know, she's like, no, 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 they're just singing along. It's a big part of the plan. She could be the good princess. But, but when you see Alistair and her talking together, you can see they're like kind of conniving and scheming about this. It's where Charlie, that's why Charlie's always like, no, I don't want you to be in this like murderous path. I'm just trying to be a leader. But you see these glimpses where Charlie will snap and that, that ruthless side comes out of her. Like the show's smart to ground it in you're on her side. Like, for example, she gets vexed by Susan 
and she she's like f you she goes off she goes off on alistair at the beginning of this so you're still on her side still on her perspective it doesn't seem like she's just being malicious or or any kind of like you know evil intent however you can see that darkness in her that is still you know kind of maybe just simmering in there a little bit pushed down that could possibly come out and it sounds like, seems like to me what that's what alistair wants to magnify uh from within her and that would give him more motivation for the episode where he clearly doesn't he's competing with her dad with lucifer mm-hmm. and he wants her to be less like lucifer and maybe more like lilith because yeah. they, oh, they're, they're be definitely wrong. tied together no i think that there's no way that mm. alistair and lilith aren't tied together they were gone for the same amount of time right we haven't seen lilith we know he's on somebody else's uh chain true i, I think for that reason and also if you see it a lot of design on this show. Have you noticed all the apples around the mm-hmm. serpents around the apples? Like there's a lot going on here that has reference to Lilith mm-hmm. and to creation. And I think that the there's, they're definitely hand in hand and Alistair probably is going to struggle with this as well because he really, it does seem like he does have genuinely fond feelings of, um, of our, why am I forgetting our main girl's name? Charlie. Oh, Charlie. I almost called her Agatha. Yeah, it's a different girl. Well, Agatha's nobody. I mean, you know, <laughs> you can't say that about Agatha. We have a huge Agatha audience. Catherine Hahn is Agatha. Exactly. So <laughs> Agatha's totally somebody. And she's a-, a witch. Agatha explains it all. Yeah. That's the name of her show? That's the, that was the song. <laughs> Agatha explained it all. <laughs> How did you like the songs during this? I think this is the most heartfelt episode of them all. It's probably the least one of the lower that's the weird thing i still really liked it a lot i'd even venture to say i loved it uh it's, it's probably the le- one of the less impactful ones to me and that goes in conjunction to answer your question about the songs i think the songs are good i thought everything's great like it's still great it's just out of the superiority of this animated adult musical uh, series that has been a phenomenon it if I had to do a ranking of overall episodes, I'd be like, no, I still really enjoyed it a lot. It's just a little bit on the low, the what's a nicer word that is not bottom tier that yeah, gets misconstrued. I hope you guys understand. What I I'm feel saying. the maybe, exact maybe. same yeah. way that you do where <laughs> yeah. it's like, we're all these episodes are yeah. above great. Yeah. So it's like, this one is the one that's closer to great as opposed to, Excellent, excellent. Yeah. Like and it, it is still really good. But this one had to do a lot of heavy lifting, lifting for setup. And mm-hmm. I Pull will the wood over your eyes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I will commend Amazon because clearly they knew how what they were doing with these release schedules. Totally. This they're releasing seven and eight together. So this didn't have to be your favorite episode. Um, like I think for me and you right now, probably I love all the episodes, but episode four was the most impactful on us. I think oh, definitely. where it was like, holy crap, this show is really going for it. Yeah. So I'm kind of expecting that from eight as well. It seems like they do that one, two punch. Mm-hmm. So of one and two, two, uh, three and four. Well, I, I sort of feel like every episode has been great as a great standalone episode, regardless of the fact that they always end in a way where you, you would need to watch the next one to continue the story and finish it. Uh, this was the one that I really feel like was part one of a finale. Yes. Where as opposed to just a solid episode seven, it, I, I, I weirdly had this inclination of, should we just have watched both immediately back to back instead of pausing to make separate videos? Yeah. It's like <laughs> A and B. I know what it, you mean. It, yeah. That was, uh, but none of the other episodes made me feel that way. But this was the first one that made me go, I wonder. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see, guys. But what did you think? Where would you rank this episode? Leave your thoughts in the typey comments down below. That would mean the world to Emma and to, uh, her, her, what's her in Spanish? Hermano? That's brother. Is she a... Uh, she uh, What? She would be a... Uh, a? Leave it down to she? she uh? What's she? Uh? Is, I'm asking like I'm she would be a uh, but and was not Spanish. What's emo? I don't know what you're saying. I said that make emo happy. Uh, maybe that's French. Hmm. Para mí. Some type of ancient Romanian language that has been lost. Muy bien para mí. <laughs> para ti. Is that Hebrew? No, <laughs> Spanish. No. <laughs> I only know like three Hebrew words. Bad Jew. No, well, Hebrew is not the Jewish language. Aramaic. No, it's Yiddish, bro. Mm. 
Uh, We've gone off the rails. Agree to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Uh huh. So are you a Chinese communist? I'm from Singapore. <laughs> You've seen that going around. No, what? <laughs> when the Senate was the, the, the Senate when they were interrogating the TikTok guy. Oh, the two dudes. So the guy was like, "Are you a Chinese communist?" And he's like, "I'm from Singapore." He's like, "So you're oh, you no. a member of the Communist Party?" And like, "No, I, I'm from Singapore." <laughs> <laughs> and they didn't understand. Yeah, there you go. That's like, amazing. I got a copy. Nope. So I've served in the military. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. Patron shout out. Landon Miller. London. Welcome to your shout out, my friend. Oh, oh, oh. Is this first one? It must so. have upgraded. Yeah, look out. It's time for a classic <laughs> shout out. <laughs> you're going to regret this. Oh, you're going to hate this. So, what we like to do is take your name, figure out the acronym for it, mm-hmm. and I'm just going to say what comes to mind. L stands for Licking my butthole. Oh, yes, it does. A. A stands up, for anal retentive, which I'm sure you are not. N stands for nice guy. This D stands for the D, which I'm sure you're slinging all around T, O W N. O stands for the shape of your mouth when you're by my anus. <laughs> I'm glad one of us had to get there. And and N stands for nuts, where uh, I'm sure you've got huge ones, man. Just just like the craziest, craziest nuts. Crazy nuts, man. D's nuts don't even come close. Well, we've come this far. M stands for hey. um, martyr. Oh, sure. Because he would still be willing to die in the good reject name, mm-hmm. even if it meant us, you know, doing what we're doing right now. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, I stands for um, industrious, as I'm sure you are an enterprising and, and you know, a creative human being. L stands for loquacious. Is that even a word? <laughs> <laughs> the world may never know. Is it just something Greg thought of? It could be. Maybe you arrived at it Is that the definition of loquacious? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other L <laughs> stands for uh, lugubrious. What does it mean? Comment if you're actually watching the shout out with the definition so that I can commit it to memory. E stands for eternal. Because you will forever be. <laughs> laying down with my face, my butt on your face. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, and, and I think it only would be appropriate that R stands for rimming, as you know, that will Too bring. Vulgar, the, the, no, we had to come full circle in this <laughs> shout out so you know it was the only one play. it could be anything though you maybe you're just uh you know doing a rim shot on your drums there maybe that's your version of rimming or maybe uh it's just polishing up the rims on your car it doesn't have to be gross man i just wanted to say you know we've done the first patron of the month shout outs it's kind of deal for people so many times it comes to the acronyms and i really just wanted to experiment here and yeah. make sure you were loyal enough because that's really what the L stands for in your name. Oh, double dose of see loyalty. What I did? It's a test of Triple loyalty. Dose. He's got so many L's to in see name. if you would still be willing to stay pledged yes. in spite this is a test. of this shout out. This is a test. You just got Landon Miller. Look out. I hope you're happy. I hope you're satisfied. I am drafting an apology. <laughs> dearest <laughs> Landon <laughs> Miller. Tomorrow morning. My dearest bro. <laughs> We're all friends here, right? It's satire. Thanks, Landon Miller. We appreciate you. 